Time for our tail of the tape in the heavyweight division. Junior Tafa, the Samoan, fighting out of Australia, weighing in at 282 pounds. He'll face the Joker, who has, ladies and gentlemen, a nine-inch reach advantage. And professional experience, the edge goes to Tafa, and it's just impressive because of his 86% KO ratio, most of them happening in the first round. So look for him to unload that power. But McDonald doesn't really care for the knockout in this fight, he says. He's looking to stay long and punish them. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this heavyweight matchup is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he debuted in New Jersey at Glory 33 nearly two years ago. As a professional, eight wins with two losses, but six of those eight wins have come by way of knockout. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, 2.01 meters, and he weighed in with an official weight of 263.4 pounds, 190. 19.5 kilos. He fights tonight out of Eugene, Oregon. Please welcome Anthony the Joker McDonald. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the wide corner, a New Zealand national champion who brings a career knockout ratio of 80% with him to the glory ring. His record, 18 wins with three losses. 14 of those 18 wins have come by way of knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters, and he weighed in at 282.2 pounds, 128 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Brisbane, Australia, here is the juggernaut, Junior Tafa. And the referee in charge of this bout, Wayne Spinola. All right, gentlemen, you know the rules. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Any questions, gentlemen? If you want to, touch gloves. Step back and get it started. Surprisingly, they actually touch gloves, Joe. I didn't think they'd even do that. And Joe Becker, you're ready, stare down was pretty intense. The Joker versus the Juggernaut. You ready, sir? Are you ready, sir? Let's fight. Tafa doesn't expect to see round two. McDonald says he's going to beat Tafa pillar to post for three, four rounds. Yeah, McDonald's got a little awkward style. He's going to move, stay long, throw awkward style kicks. Awkward traditional style kickboxing, so that could give Tafa some problems. Nine inch reach advantage for the Joker. It's body kicks for McDonald's. Joker and then a need to follow up. Uh, shelling up here now. He's getting stop, stop. comfortable. Right he's moving his feet on the outside. Fight. Doesn't want to be a standing target for Taffer on low. McDonald's still maybe a little bit hurt. Got caught pretty flush on the way in. Now a body shot there. Yeah, he keeps throwing that left body kick. You okay? You want to go? Give me your hands. Okay, here we go. Fight! Code red time now here for the Joker. Just when you thought Tafa was going to run out, it was McDonald's who ran to the center. McDonald still does not look good. Tafa trying to spin it back. Flip, There's a knee. Tafa down, but it's a slip. Give me your hands, please. Fight! Junior Tafa, who's trained with UFC legend Mark Hunt. Bounce to follow in his footsteps to be a world champion. It's just so impressive that he's only 21 years old. And another knockdown. That one behind Three. the ear. Three. Easy work Four. so far for Five. Tafa. Six. Seven. Known for having his first Eight. round finishes. Nine. Ten. McDonald you is up. Does he want to continue? Yeah. There we go. Sure, Tafa's going to want to add the first down knockout streak here. One more and it's over. And that was Six. it. Two easy. For Tafa. He said he'd do it. He's coming over here to talk to us. He said, I told you. Before the bell ring rang to start the fight, he looked at me and Joe and gave the throat slash sign. And sure enough, they
killer performance for the Aussie. Yeah, good power, just like we expected. You know he was a little patient. He let McDonald throw some wild kicks off his garden. Just when he lands, he puts you out. Not really a, a huge big shot landed, at least from what we saw, but that goes to show you how much power he possesses, Joe. Yeah, this was a good knee. Taco waiting. McDonald always trying to circle out. He needed to stay off the ropes, but perfectly timed left hook off of McDonald's jab. He knew McDonald was going to throw that jab. Taco just slipped his head off line, got that left hook. And that was the right hand. It looked like it did too much damage, but just put behind McDonald here. And this is where you could tell McDonald wanted out of here, and he got out quick. Yeah, those right hands seem like just behind the ear. His equilibrium must have been off. Tapa adding another first round finish to his record. Tapa certainly not classically trained in kickboxing. He trained with his brothers in his garage. He said, listen, if I can beat my brothers, I can beat anybody in the world. And that's what he's doing. He's a top 10 ranked glory heavyweight. And it's onward and upward for big junior Tapa. We make it official after this. We welcome you back to Madison Square Garden. And Joe, as we look at the highlights, they're all coming from Junior Tafa, I guarantee you that. Yeah, McDonald came out a little wild, unorthodox with his left kicks, tried to circle, but Tafa was really patient, waiting, and he knew he had to answer that jab, so slipped his head off center line and landed that left hook, gave him the first knockdown. And the same kind of thing, came in pressuring. This time the second knockdown via this right hand, just clipped behind the ear. It didn't look like it had too much power behind it, but just in the right placement, he was able to get three knockdowns in the first round. And that's a TKO for Junior Tafel. And yes, he did tell us so. Once McDonald feels my power, he won't want any more. And that's what happened. McDonald just got beat down. We make it official now. Here's Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you saw it. You watched it as it happened. This bout ends by way of the Glory 3 knockdown rule with an official time of 2 minutes and 20 seconds of that very first round and ruled a technical knockout. For your winner, Junior Tafa. Well, this should be an interesting post-fight interview. Let's see what Whitney Miller can get out of the juggernaut. Junior, congratulations. Once again, another first round knockout. You love these things and so do we. Describe your emotions for me. New York, what's up? You know, if you're gonna call me out, come to fight. You know, that's what I do. Everybody, you wanna party with your, your, your boys from down under, come to Stout Bar, that's where we at. Well, come to Stout Bar, we gonna party. You're moving up in the division, especially when you put on performances like this. What is your message to the rest of the division? You see me now. Anyone in the top five, come at me. I'm here. I'm ready. Congratulations. Celebrate. Junior Taffa, ready to party. I didn't know Australian people like to drink beer, Joe. I didn't know that. I've been hearing some of their colleagues do these shooey things that I'm not very interested in.